a reading from the book of Exodus. There an angel of the Lord appeared in a fire flaming out of the bush. As Moses looked on, he was surprised to see that bush, though on fire was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over and look at this remarkable sight and see why this bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out from, to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. Moses, Moses answered, here I am. God said, come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place you stand is holy ground. The word of the Lord. One of my favorite poems is by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, where she reflects on this passage from Exodus. Earth's crammed with heaven, and every common bush a fire with God, and only she who sees takes off her shoes. The rest sit round it and pluck, pluck blackberries. In the same vein, the poet Sister Macrina Whitaker writes, Every tree is full of angels, if only we had eyes to see. That particular poem reminds me a couple of years ago, I was in South Africa. And one of the things I really wanted to see in South Africa were monkeys. And I was looking around, uh, would go out for a morning run, no monkeys. So I'm leaving the retreat house and I'm standing in front and we're standing under this big tree. And there had to be a school there also. And as we're waiting, all of a sudden I get hit in the head with something. And I look, it's a piece of rotten fruit. I look up and that tree was full of monkeys. I was with some other sister. I said, look at all the monkeys. And they all started running. <laughs> Sometimes we need to be slapped upside our head to see in new ways, to see God's presence among us. In truth, there are signs of God's presence everywhere, even in the snow, in nature, in people, in the happenings of our everyday life. If only we had eyes to see. Moses, in today's story, is in the midst of his everyday life. He's doing what shepherds do. He's tending his sheep. He's far removed from the sights and sounds of his religious community. He's not expecting to have a religious experience, an encounter with God. There is no sign that this is a holy place. Yet God sends him a sign in the midst of his everyday routine, a burning bush. And this time, God gets Moses' attention. He slaps him on the side of his head, and Moses begins to see. In fact, Moses was literally stopped in his tracks. God had his hand on Moses. It didn't matter what Moses did before in his life. It didn't matter how he strayed or he sinned. If you remember the story of Moses, remember he was out there and uh, they were doing the bricks and then he sees one of the Hebrew slaves, one of his people being bullied and he ends up killing the Egyptian. He flees, he hides from himself, from the people, from the authorities and from God. He, so he goes into the pasture land and he thinks he is safe away from not only the people that would pursue him but also from God. But God had his hand on Moses. And he could run, but he couldn't hide. And Moses begins to see in the midst God's presence. And God speaks from that burning bush. I know the suffering of your people, but I have come to rescue them. And Moses, you are the one I am calling to lead them to freedom. If we only had eyes to see. A few years ago, a southern novelist, his name is Reynolds Price, and he did his own translation of the four Gospels. And he called the book, The Palpable God. He reminds us that God is not an ethereal God, some God up in the sky, a disembodied deity 
whose word was a collection of abstract philosophical premises. Instead, we have a God who dwells among us, a God who has become one of us, setting the holy story in the human story. So none of us have to leave the flesh and blood behind. We don't have to go to a monastery or go to a holy place to experience God. God is willing to meet you where you're at, where we are, even when we're like Moses and we're on the lamb, even when we are hiding from others, from ourselves, God will seek us out. In the scriptures, we hear of God coming among us, not only in signs like the burning bush, but also in the form of a mighty wind, a pillar of cloud, a small voice, a descending dove, a newborn baby, in the form of bread and wine. Our God is indeed a palpable God, the everywhere God in contrast to the elsewhere God. This is the God we believe in. This is the God we seek to encounter. This is the God we preach and share with others, a God that we can see, a God that we encounter in our everyday life, whose presence can be sniffed and glimpsed in every corner of creation. God's presence is all that is required to turn ordinary desert sand into the holy of holies, or a straw stuffed manger into the birthplace of Christ, or the hospital bed of a loved one into the altar of the Lord. One of the sisters, Sister Rosanna, who I lived with a number of years ago, was taking care of her dad in his last years. And it was up to the point that he was actively dying. And she shared this uh, story with me, this burn, her burning bush experience. Her dad was in his 90s, and he was, used to be a strapping man. He was a plumber. He could fix anything, carry anything. And here he was, ravished by age and cancer. And he was in a hospital bed in their living room. And it was a Sunday, and they were watching Mass together on TV. And she said as she sat in that chair and she looked over at him, she felt so overwhelmed with grief and the thought of what had happened to him and his, her ultimate loss of him. So with that, as they were watching Mass, he motioned to her to help him to go to the bathroom. So she got up and she walked over to him. And as she started to guide him, she realized that she was actually carrying him. So this formerly hulk of a man was literally skin and bones. And as she held her dad in her arms, again, she felt that weight of grief. And then it hit her like a bolt of lightning. From the TV, the priest who was celebrating Mass, Eucharist, his voice emanated from the TV. This is my body broken for you. She said she paused, she looked down at her dad, and she saw the broken body of Christ. It was a burning bush experience for her. And she said at that moment, the dread and the grief was lifted. And she knew just as Christ was raised from the dead and restored to new life, her dad, too, would be healed and restored to new life. If we only have eyes to see. She encountered Christ in the suffering and broken body of her dad. Earth is crammed with heaven and every common bush of fire with God. And only he who sees takes off his shoes. The rest sit round it and pluck blackberries. <laughs>